Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to transfer between your old galaxy to your new galaxy. So, I am actually doing a transfer between the Galaxy S8 Plus and the Galaxy S8 Plus, but this is the pre-production model and I finally got my final build, so I'm going to be transferring everything over from this phone to this side of the phone. Now, when you first start up the phone, this is the best time to do it. I had to do some other tests to this phone, so I did not get to do it that way. But you would want to use this adapter, plug it into your new phone, and use the Type-C or micro USB cable to connect it into there, and then you would have your uh, connection. Now, that's the way you want to do it when it asks you, are you transferring from an old phone? However, if you go past the setup process, although you can still use this, it often has issues after you've set up the phone. So if you're transferring from an old Android to a new Samsung S8, this is the way you want to do it after you've already set up the new phone. So you're going to go into settings on both devices, and you're going to search for smart switch right here and again search for smart switch right here and then you're gonna click start on both this one's already done it once so I pass that hit agree and then you're going to do it wirelessly and this will send and this will receive and I am receiving uh, the old device is an Android device so I'm selecting Android and now it should connect after I hit this button connect this one makes a noise sorry this one makes a noise and this one picks it up so that uh, they can connect if they can't you can use the pin as a backup so now as you see here I have everything I could want here I am actually going to edit this for a second so I'll pause it just so you don't have to go through this because I have 126 apps and that is going to take a while especially when some apps I don't want to transfer over to the new device so I'm going to edit this for a second and then I will start it again but as you can see this is about 12 gigs and it says it's going to take about an hour it actually won't take that long and I will come back to see how much time has gone by after um, we have stopped but first let me just edit this and then I'll show you what you can do okay there you go so I took off the amount of apps that I wanted however another thing you might want to consider is limiting the amount of text messages so right here you can hit the settings for text messages and you can choose how far along you want to keep them now for me I have not changed over the past year for the most part uh, you can do the last six months so I'll just do the last uh, six months is fine and those are the amount of text messages I'll keep now I only have about 2,000 because I didn't transfer them at one phone however keep in mind that if you have like 40,000 or something like that it's gonna take a long time text messages by far take the longest out of everything here so just note that okay so as we see here, I'm not transferring anything on the micro SD card because I'm just going to take the micro SD card out of here and put it into here. However, just letting you know, you can transfer over everything, images, music, videos, uh, voice command, uh, voice recordings, documents, home screen. So all your home screens, widgets, folders, everything will transition over your settings, your apps, your Samsung health, your email account, your internet browser, your alarm clocks your call, your uh, Samsung notes, text messaging, calendar, and contacts, all of that moves over. So really nice and simple. So I'm gonna hit send, and then I'm going to receive, and then we're starting at 11.50, so we will see how long it exactly takes. Uh, again, it's not gonna take a full hour and seven minutes, as it said, so it will be less than that, but we'll just see how long it actually takes. Uh, it's going to start backing up everything that's going to transfer at one point you just will need to keep downloading on here and you will no longer need your phone also if you happen to do it wirelessly this is a good time to use a wireless charger or a direct charger when transferring this process so that way your battery life won't go down so we will start this process and come back to it once it's done 
All right, guys. So we finished up. Uh, we finished up about five minutes ago, but unfortunately, my dog barked in the last video, so I couldn't recap. So um, we did still finish under an hour, like I said. It finished at about um, I want to say it was 31 or 32. Sorry, my dog just barked, so I just came back and finished the video. So with that being said, uh, it did finish under the time of over an hour, like it had predicted. However, I also want to point out that this app does go quicker with the screen on. So when the screen is on, it will actually go much quicker. So make sure to keep that on. I actually was gone for half an hour and I had told the screen was off and I forgot that. So it had been going much slower. As soon as I turned the screen back on, it went much quicker. All right, guys, hopefully this video helps you out on how to transfer everything over from your old Android device or Samsung device specifically to a new Samsung. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy.